Behind me, you can probably see that there's some nasty weather coming in. Well, I was thinking of leaving my camping spot today and heading that direction. But thanks to an app that I use, I know that today is not the best day to travel. And so I'm gonna show you now how I use it and how it helps me decide when to leave my camping spot to move to my next destination and avoid any dangerous weather, flooding, fire danger, or high winds. I'm in Oregon right now, but I'll be gone by the time you guys see this, so don't worry. But before this, I was headed up from Utah and then Nevada, and I was getting into some hairy weather. So I pulled out weather route, and I'm gonna show you now how it told me what day was the best day to leave or what time was the best day to leave and how it takes you through every little town that you're going to go through on the way. It will even give you directions and route you with the weather next to your directions so you know what the weather's gonna be like every step of the way on your trip. Those were the nicest people. Oh my gosh. Hey everybody, this is where I woke up today. I'm somewhere between Ely, Nevada and Eureka, Oregon, I think. And um, I'm on the loneliest highway, uh, which is Highway 50. And of course you can see it snowed here last night. It's about 33 degrees. And um, I actually have driven about 50 miles this morning, but as you can see, it's really fogged in. I decided to pull over and get some breakfast and wait for some of this fog to burn off because I am going down this pass here in a second. And um, the nicest people pulled over to make sure I was okay. Isn't that nice? I flashed my brights at them like five miles back on the road because there were antelope in the road and it's really foggy. And so I flashed my lights at them to let them know that there was something in the road. And, um, you know, I pull over, I turn around, I take my time, I get the camera, I come out, and they were just standing here, <laughs> which kind of freaked me out. But um, they just wanted to make sure I was okay. It was a couple. Uh, they thought maybe I needed help and this is the loneliest highway. Uh, in the country. There's a lot of miles between services, um, but I'm headed up to the Pacific Northwest, which I'm super excited about. But you guys, look at this. It's absolutely beautiful, but it's also cold. So I'm going to run inside and get some coffee and a bite to eat and um, hit the road. I want to show you guys how I use this app in action because it really does exactly what I wanted to do, which is show me my route and tell me the weather in every stage along my route and when the best time to leave is. So today I'm going from Ely, Nevada to Sisters, Oregon. But before you put in your route, you can go up here to settings and you can tell it what kind of a rig you have. I selected truck. And then you can say your average speed, I said 50. And that way they can accurately tell you what the weather's gonna be along your route. They're not saying you're going 80 like everybody else, maybe. So I'm gonna close out of that. So again, it can find you or you can put in your destinations and then you just hit this button and it starts to calculate. You guys, this is so cool and I've used it many times now and it is accurate. So let me show you why I left Ely before dawn this morning because it was the best time for me to get where I was going with wind and weather and they also give you updates and they can show you your route and you can plan days in advance if you want. So it says here, you'll see at the top, they automatically tell you the best time to leave is 9 a.m. Monday, which it's 8.51, <laughs> but I'm already past Ely. So look at what they do down here. They show you in Ely it's 33 degrees and the wind speed is four miles an hour. And then you go through White Pine, which is 36 degrees, 8 miles an hour, and so on. And it shows you each town that you're going to go to. Now look at this. This is actually why I wanted to film this today. You can see any problems that are coming up on the route. Right here, as you guys know, we've had a lot of rain everywhere, so um, there is some flooding risk on my route today. So I've got my eye on that. But here's what's cool. They've given me the temperature and weather and wind speed by town, right? But look down here, there's this toggle. So let's say, try and keep your eye up here 
on this 17 miles an hour. When I toggle across like this, it changes. See? So if I lift Wednesday at noon, it would be 7 miles an hour. But if I left at Tuesday at 1, it would be 14 miles an hour. So you get the idea, right? Now let's say you want to show the extended forecast. You go up here. And you can actually plan out for a week. And see up here? It's changing. When I'm toggling through the dates and times, look at the weather changing in all the different towns I'm going to. And then on the right, they actually change the wind speed. That's exactly what I needed it to do. On the bottom, I'm just scrolling through the different dates and times to leave and look at what it's doing with the wind speed. And let's say that I am leaving right now. Then you hit map. It shows you the weather in all your different towns along your route. Very cool. And you can also toggle down here. It's just that easy, you guys. You do it on a slide, and look, the weather changes. So um, I'm really, really happy with this. And I don't like driving in high winds, like a lot of you. And um, because my time is my own, this really does help me plan when to leave, when to stop, when to leave again, what route to take. And I love it. It's totally free. And I'll go ahead and put the link for you down below. Right now, I'm around Eureka, Nevada. And you guys can see that it's raining. It is getting a little windier. But you can see that the wind is still 12 miles an hour. And if I continue on to Sisters, Oregon, it's 12. Still some danger zones in there with flooding. But then, if I go all the way to here today, by this afternoon, it's going to be 21 miles an hour. And I'm a little slow, so sometimes I like to just toggle forward a little and see what happens. Oh yeah, 26. I don't want to drive in that. So, I'll probably keep going along the route today until I get to about Humboldt. Um, and then I'll find a place to stay overnight. And then tomorrow, let me search for what it would be like if I left from Humboldt and continued on. So I've gone back to the front here and just did a fresh search from Humboldt to Sisters if I do that tomorrow. And I hit the little blue button. And again, it's going to calculate the best time for me to leave from Humboldt to go down to Sisters. So I'm going to give that a second. Best time to leave is now. Okay, I don't want to leave now. I, at the most, would leave tomorrow morning. So let me go forward a little bit and see what happens. If I leave at 5 a.m. tomorrow, ooh, it's still 21, 29 going down. I feel more comfortable, you know, driving around 14. So if I left Humboldt, it would be 14 there. I'd have to leave at 5 p.m. at night. Hmm. What happens after that? Oh, it gets way better. Look at that. So this is today, and this is this afternoon, and this is Tuesday, and it doesn't really get better until Wednesday morning, so I might stay around Humboldt for a couple days, get there today, stay for a couple days, because I can, and then head up. What would it be like then? All the way to Sisters. Great. Looks great. All the way. I know for a lot of you, driving in heavy wind or rain or where there could be fire danger is a concern, and it should be. So Weather Route is one of my favorite apps. I use it all the time. I even use it just to get the local weather. I find it to be really pretty accurate. And, um, you know, things change. Sometimes you're slower than you say you're going to be on the app or you stop for longer and then I just pop in and redo the route and see what the latest info says. As always, you can find me here twice a week on Instagram and Facebook at creativityrv.com. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. If you think anybody else can use this information, please do share it or give this video a thumbs up because it helps other people discover the information so that we can all have happy, safe travels and be free. Thank you.